Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Monday, July 20th, 2020. My goodness, July 20th already. Holy cow. Well, last week we had a market that just seemed to have well we started out bullish and then just a little bit of uncertainty and this morning it seems like that uncertainty continues um, for the open today so how about we go ahead and buckle up let's settle in and get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video this morning, guys, we have this uh, palpable uncertainty um, in the market, yet we have um, all these hopes of massive government stimulus packages that could be on the way. So what's what's the uncertainty? Well, the uncertainty obviously is the growing pandemic, the issues that are going on out there, the news reports that Florida may be forced into a shutdown situation, um, reporting more than 10,000 uh, new infections over the last five days, and hospital ICUs in several hotspot states reaching capacity. We're trying to deal with this in a, in, a, in a method where we're also just trying to ignore that it's really happening. And the market so far has largely ignored it because of the deficit spending that's been going on around the world and the massive potential deficit spending that uh, may be coming from Europe and from um, the United States here in the very near future. So what does that really mean for today? Well, let's take a look at the technicals here and see what we've got going. Um, first off, one of the things I wanna mention is we still are in an uptrend. Now I gotta tell you, I really don't find any cheap stocks right now or inexpensive stocks, but they continue, we continue to just force um, these stocks higher and higher and higher in um, this market and, and it seems to be fueled largely on lowered estimates in um, well considerably lowered estimates in um, earnings um, reports and also um, hopes of big governmental spending so we still have a trend here in the dow and honestly at the end of friday we held in here nicely on this little support area in the chart which sets up an opportunity an actual bullish opportunity if this continues to rest across here that opportunity that we could surge move on higher and then move up in here and try and break through that island reversal that has been giving us all of this trouble here in the dow let's keep an eye on that certainly still holding up in a bullish pattern I don't think we're going to have too much trouble here in the Dow unless we actually see that trend break. And that is certainly possible. We'll want to watch that carefully. If that were to occur, just keep in mind that that would be a break of the 200-day moving average again, which could be a problem if we do start, whoops, that's a two-day, if we do start to sink down in there. But notice that the 50-day moving average is still rising. We're trying to rally that up. Uh, back up through that 200-day uh, moving average. And we're really trying to mask off that nothing is really going on here in the market. Please keep in mind that overall, we still have this downtrend in play here as well, even though we're rallying up. So we've got this big symmetrical triangle wedge, and we're trying to figure out what the result of that is going to be here in the very near future. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much um, a similar situation as we continue to hold up in this rally. We're pushing against, as you can see, some resistance levels in the chart, and we're really trying to break through this island reversal pattern that was here. We pushed up through the bottom side of that resistance. We're trying to break through that level. Let's kind of keep in mind that we are 
breaking that downtrend um, that we see here in the um, SPY, and we're trying to hold that up. If we can hold up in this area and then see those bulls step up in here, bouncing off of that trend, we have upside potential. Of course, if we do kind of succumb to some of this uncertainty um, and drop back down below that uptrend that could be a little bit of a problem so we're right in that questionable area as to what comes next and you know i gotta tell you probably the most honest answer that i've heard um came out this weekend from jamie Dimon from jp morgan where he said nobody knows what comes next and i think that is a, a true and honest picture of what's going on here we really don't know what comes next in this economy as this virus continues to spin out of control. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, as you can see, we continue in this beautiful upside trend. There just seems to be zero fear at all. And we have big upcoming earnings reports that will be out here before too long. We'll, um, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be getting those big earnings reports from the companies that have been holding this index up and really pushing it up. We'll be hearing from Apple, and Am or Apple Amazon, Google, um, uh, Microsoft in the weeks ahead and um, this, they are certainly not cheap stocks at this point um, whether or not they can actually support these current prices will be interesting to see but we continue to rally the, this index and right now the Dow futures are the only for futures right now holding positive um, this morning so let's keep an eye on that they're trying to perk up here this morning while the other futures markets are showing a flat to just ever so slight bearish open let's take a look at um, IWM now IWM had a really good week last week rallying up nicely and let me point out here that we have this little downtrend in this chart that we have finally breached so we've been struggling in here on this uh, wedge pattern and we finally breached up through that and we held it all you know through the week um, held that up here holding that upside trend so that really does pose the opportunity that um, we could respond to this tr uh, little upside trend and continue to move higher here in IWM. Let's not forget, however, that we do have um, this re reversal pattern up here that um, is still holding that as resistance, and we have um, a really substantial resistance just slightly above there. So we'll want to watch that carefully and closely. Also, keep in mind that we are still dealing with this downside trend trying to decide whether or not we've got enough energy to poke on through to the upside. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has been struggling, struggling, struggling to show a little bit of confidence. And on Friday, it finally broke down through the 200 day moving average. We haven't seen that for a long time. As you can see, we've been trying and testing and holding and bouncing off of that but we finally broke down through that 200 day moving average bringing us down into a 25 handle here on the vix now the question is going to be whether we can continue to sustain that or hold that um, this is a little bit of a price support area if we get some fear coming in there bouncing off of that could be interesting if we happen to break that little support that would show some confidence in the market that there's very little fear here one thing that's really interesting and and i have to wonder right now it, it's kind of an odd thing to even say is we're at, at an elevated point here in the VIX, but yet we're really kind of showing um, complacency in the market. We're trying to ignore everything out there in virus, trying to ignore everything that's coming down the pipe here for potential earnings that are likely not to be all that great. We're ignoring, ignoring, ignoring. We're pushing the markets ever higher right now. And it's kind of odd to say, but could we actually be experiencing some complacency in the market, um, even at an elevated VIX? 
interesting thought, but keep that in mind. We have that potential that we could move very quickly, either both up or down here in the market and a challenging market um, in price action to be cert certain. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. I get a lot of questions about this, but honestly, guys, there's nothing fancy about T2122. It, it just creates a ratio between those stocks that are at four week new highs and those that are at four week new lows and plots it in an indicator. And that indicator right now is pushed up here into the bearish reversal zone. And you can see, we have, um, you can go back and as far as you want in this, when we push up into that bearish reversal zone, we run the potential of selling off. One thing we've seen here lately in the market is just a willingness to not sell anything and hold up in this area. So you can see we've kind of had quite a bit of price action just holding up here in this area as we continue to really ignore potential impacts from the virus. And when we're, it's understandable because we're really trying to cover, we're trying to buy our way out of a pandemic with government spending and deficit spending, I should say. And the question still remains is, can the government actually spend our way? Can we cover all of the impacts with enough deficit spending and spend our way out of a pandemic? The uh, question is still um, up in the air. So we're up here pushed up pretty high um, in this index, suggesting that at any time we could see some selling coming into play. So watch that close if that were to potentially come to pass. Watch that carefully. Let's take a look at T2101 real quickly. And I've been mentioning this lately. And one thing positive that we're seeing here happening in T2101 is that in the last few days we've actually seen this rally up now it's gapped and left um, a kind of an uncomfortable pattern in here to the upside leaving that uncertainty but we are at least seeing more stocks right now trying to rally than what we've seen um, over the last couple of months where we were just pushing up a very select few so that's a good sign if we can hold uh, that upside move hold that upside move and continue to push that higher in the absolute breadth index that would be important let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and um, let's note that we don't have much of anything this week on the economic calendar so we have a really light economic calendar this week as you can see we've got uh, virtually nothing going on over here except um, we've got Europe trying to pass a, a, a massive recovery stimulus program um, over there. Right now, EU leaders seem to be deadlocked on, on that, so we'll want to watch that pretty carefully. News reports on that big release could really move the market substantially. So let's watch that closely. Notice that we've got home um, information today. We've got, or this week, we've got existing home sales and we've got new home sales. Um, and then of course, we'll have the normal jobless claims things this week. So pretty light economic calendar overall this week on the earnings front however we're going to be ramping up on earnings and we we know that those are coming we're entering that heavy uh, time period of earnings season so we're ramping up but today rather light um on that earnings report but we do have things that we want to pay attention to this morning um first off um take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo will be reporting today. Right now it's it's looking like it's going to open about where it, where it closed, but PepsiCo um, is on the docket for today. We'll want to pay attention to that. Halliburton will be reporting today, and it looks like it's indicating just ever so slightly higher here this morning. Um, keep an eye on that. Um, we have Manpower reporting today, a little wide bid-ass spread going on here, so no report on that yet. We'll want to pay attention to that. Um, 
pet meds pet meds are reporting today you can see a little bit of a wide bid ask spread no report here notice that we're pushing some highs here these are all-time highs oh i'm sorry not correct um we're pushing up to some recent resistance highs trying to push on through let's see if that earnings report can actually um, help that along or not cck cck also reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on this one we've got a nice little trend but we also have this resistance high in here to deal with a little bit of a wide bid ask spread we'll want to wait and see how that reports this morning we'll hear from ibm IBM um, looks like it's perking up just a teeny tiny bit this morning trying to push on higher um, LOGI which has been on a tremendous run here lately will be reporting today let's keep an eye on LOGI it has just been a, an, um, an amazing bull run um, on Logitech so keep a close eye on that as that reports and STLD Steel Dynamics will be reporting today. You can see we've got a wide bid ask spread on that to be paying attention to. With that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also um, click that bell icon so you can be notified every every time I post one of these videos and also if you could do me a favor if this if you find these videos to be useful and helpful to you if you could please do uh, click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow the channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone that does that you guys um, I'm so humbled by um, so many folks um, responding positive, positively to these videos. It, it means a lot to me. Thank you very much, guys. You, you are truly awesome. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And remember that um, every time I show a stock in these videos, I want to caution everyone that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any securities, that you need to do your own due diligence on these stocks and um, decide whether or not they fit you personally as a trade considering the risk and reward of every position let's take a look at fcx now fcx has been in this beautiful move up and um, i gotta tell you um, I closed my FCX position. I just wanted to capture some gains on Friday. Closed this trade, but I've placed an alert on this chart on Freeport. And I, I get that sense that what we're trying to do here in the chart, we're trying to deal um, here with a little bit of price resistance that you see over here in the chart. Yet at the same time, we're trying to hold on to some support here in this chart. So I've kind of marked it up this way. Um, holding that trend and wanting to see this continue to slip slide and consolidate over here toward that trend and i'll be watching for the next entry into fcx beautiful little chart here overall i'm also continuing to hold my gold gold um, I got to tell you, in in a world where we're just deficit spending at an unbelievable pace, devaluing our currencies, I think gold still has upside potential. So watching here, I've got a huge profit on this at the moment, so I'm probably a little bit biased on this. And we're looking to move just ever so slightly higher this morning on gold. So keep an eye on that. That has been consolidating as you can see kind of sliding over here we're holding that support level if we can break from that next move up then i would be looking for that next leg higher here in gld also continuing to um, hold my position in silver um, silver holding up well as you can see holding up in trend looking pretty good overall showing uh, bullish signs and looks like um, this morning um, we have that opportunity for this to move just ever so slightly higher um, here this morning so keep an eye on that silver trying to perk up just a little tiny bit here this morning we have some highs in here that we need to deal with but silver holding on and 
keep in mind this has more of an industrial use so it will move a lot more with the overall market so keep an eye on silver also let's take a look um, KL, KL Gold, um, this is a nice little setup as you can see, breaking through some resistance here in this chart, holding up in a trend in this four days, a little consolidation as we kind of slip slide over here toward the trend. Let's watch this for that opportunity that this could pop on out of here, continue to move up with the market. Uh, take a look at iRobot iRobot continues to try and hold up here. It just doesn't want to sell off and iRobot's been dealing with a resistance level here in this chart. Um, we've been bouncing around in here quite a little bit, but let's notice if that pops on through that resistance area up there and can prove to hold it as support, we may resume the upside trend here on iRobot. Really, really nice looking chart. Um, take a look at Marvel. Marvel is another nice little pattern here where we've broken through this resistance high, as you can see, broken through, we've pulled back, we're holding it as support, and we could be setting up that next opportunity to the upside. Now keep in mind, I don't know where that next opportunity could come in. I put this line in here as a potential trend but honestly, until I see that bullish signal pop up in here that we're going to continue that, I don't know where that trend is actually going to start. So keep an eye on that as we continue to uh, just wait and see if Marvel's going to pop up out of here and continue on. Keeping an eye on um, SPCE. SPCE, beautiful move last week and I missed it. So what I'm waiting for here is I'm waiting for that next opportunity in the chart. Any rest consolidation or pullback gives me that opportunity. So keep that one in mind. You'll also wanna make sure to pay attention to a lot of these defensive sector stocks. Um, they've been doing pretty well. Stocks like Kroger holding up um, looking like it's wanting to move on through MDLZ Mondelez pushing up into resistance wanting to pop on through um, Hershey Hershey breaking its downtrend nice little move up any rest or pullback in that chart sets up an opportunity um, KH see Kraft Heinz breaking out last week nice little rally up seems to be a move toward defensive stocks that have pretty good dividend yields so keep an eye on those with that everyone I need to break this off we're running out of time I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading I want to wish you great profits please be safe be careful and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good day, everyone.